Hi, I'm Michelle Courtright. I'm the owner of Fig and Faro. We're a plant-based restaurant with the mission to educate people on the benefits and the impact of a plant-based diet on uh, climate change. The University of Chicago just published a study that said that if every American ate one meat meal less per week, it would be the equivalent of taking 500,000 cars off the road annually. We feel like climate change is something we can all handle and we can all tackle together. And so we consider ourselves and our team of 35 people at the restaurant as climate change activists and foodies. The thing that's most exciting for me about going to COP24 is being around really, really smart people that are experts in their field on climate change. There's so much new research that's coming out about food and agriculture and I'm excited to be around people who know their data points and are doing really great things and learning from them and bringing that information back to my team and to our guests here at the restaurant. I'm also excited to take a lot of pictures and post them on Instagram uh, at Fig Faro and uh, collect a lot of really cool plant-based meals along the way and meet a lot of great foodies and chefs uh, everywhere I go. We opened the restaurant in January of 2018 and since have had many successes in getting people to eat less meat. Our first success was collaborating with the City of Minneapolis and Mayor Jacob Fry to issue a proclamation for our citizens to eat less meat so we can be closer aligned with our goals for the Paris Agreement. We've worked continually with the Minneapolis Public School System and their True Chefs Council to create plant-based meals for Minneapolis Public School cafeterias. Internally, we've created a climate series, a supper club, and salon series. And this is a way for average citizens to connect over food and talk with their neighbors about climate change. I do love the Minnesota winters. I do like to enjoy the snow, uh, the snow days and everything uh, with the comfort of a good book and a warm fire and a glass of wine. Sitting inside my house watching the snow fall, that is my favorite thing about Minnesota.